so I got this uh, tire pressure plater and um, today I plugged it into my car cigarette lighter it didn't work it wouldn't uh, pump the tire so I just wondering what's going on sure enough this broke off you know they always use these cheap connector now I also have this one as you can see this one is much much protected you know versus this and um, as you can see this thing is um, you know in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these two wires and and cut this uh, plug off um, and then this way I can use this this head here which is a much better much better um, cigarette lighter plug um, I don't remember what this was for but you know what since it's lying around doing nothing so this has to go so that's what I'm gonna do so here we go cut this thing off dump this garbage but I think what I can save is this thing this uh, fuse this is probably three um, don't know, maybe a 12 volts fuse or 3 volts fuse Okay, so I'm just, just going to leave it in there. And then, uh, this guy here, I just got to cut it off. Make it equal lens. There we go. Strip this wire. Sixteen, sixteen gauge. There you go. 16 gauge. Same thing over here. Oof, that's it. Same thing with this one, 16 gauge. That's 18, that's 16. Okay, here we go. It does not matter which end is which end. So, I know I should get the buck connector to do a per permanent connection, but this is good enough. Oops. Ah. There we go. Two. 
tie them together. So you should use the scissors. Okay. There you have it. Now I gotta extend it to this. All I have to do is just to tie these together. So that it's they won't move, it's just like a big blob, you know, all tied together. A big blob. Oops. and easy. Now I extended it as a uh, tire pump. Okay, let's go ahead and take out, test this out. Okay, now we made the connection. So we're going to test uh, this tire pressure pump out. I'm sure it's going to work now. You know, so let's uh, plug, pull this plug and then put this in beautiful beautiful see that beautiful see beautiful so we just extended this uh, plug by uh, tying all this together and it started to work you know so it's just a simple uh, simple uh, fix this is so important because um, this tire pressure is really convenient I mean pump without this tire pressure pump you could get into trouble when you get a um, you know flat tire but with this uh, pump, even with the flat tire, you can go a few miles, you know, off the service, service go to, go down the service road and make it into the, the shop. So this is a quick and dirty fix for this uh, tire pressure pump. And I extended the cord by doing this fix. And uh, sure, I sacrificed whatever this one was um, but you know you can probably buy from Amazon too if um, you don't already have a cigarette plug or eBay for cheap you know I'm sure somebody has it lying around just like me you know who has it lying around for nothing and then the, they put it on eBay for sale there you have it that's my uh, DIY repair for tire pump. This thing is very important. You know, you really need to have it. Can't do without it. Otherwise, flat tire, you're going to have to look for a gas station and uh, none of them have.